Hi Virgo, this is Mary Jean Machado Shaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me for the month of March 2021. Virgos out there, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Venus, what is it that you need to know from me? Your first card is the judgment. A verdict is being made. Some kind of a verdict is going to come about and it is going to be in your favor. Okay, because the six of wands speaks about success, victory. Okay, so whatever is going to be um, set out or, you know, uh, uh, whatever uh, verdict is going to be made, you're going to win this. It is going to be in your favor. All right, moving on. What goes out there? And people will cheer you on. Okay, people will support you. People will be happy for you. All right, yes, temperance. It seems like things are going to fall into its place. And I feel like uh, the heavens is on your side. I'm just going to put it out there like that. Heavens is on your side. Uh, there's wings in both these cards. So. It's almost like you deserve the justice. You want to help. It. What goes out there? What is your next card? It's almost like you have gone through a lot. It, it's like the phoenix is rising. You've been burned, but you're going to come out of it. That's, that's pretty graphic. But you're going to walk out of the fire you know, I'm scared. You know, you won't have the bruises. Six of Pentacles. Somebody has to decide this for you. It is up to someone to uh, make the judgment in your favor. So somebody is going to be on your side. When I when I picked up, uh, you know, people are going to cheer you on. People are going to support you. Yes, people are going to be in your corner. Which is a good thing. Okay. All right. What goes on there? What is your next card, please? Seven of Wands. Very defensive energy. You're being asked to stand your ground no matter what. Okay. People will try to fight you. But stand your ground, which is important. They might want uh, to burn you alive. But don't, don't let them uh, put you down. Don't let them, yeah, put up a fight. And I assure you, you're going to win it. Yeah, with this Queen of Swords, along with the Seven of Wands, you need to fight where you're right. There is no excuse for you to sit and hide and be a uh, mom about you know things where you need to speak up don't uh, uh, you know uh, let your heart come in between all this think with your head think with logic because if you want if you think this is too much and you want to back out because you don't want to fight you can get screwed I'm telling you, you're going to get screwed. So stand up when it is required out of you. There is no two ways about it. You really need to be the icy bitch. Again, the icy queen, like the queen of swords. Don't, don't be all, uh, you know, compassionate. Oh, what would this person think of me? What would they think of me? When you need to speak up, you got to speak up for your own sake. Okay? Moving on. Yeah, look at this. Put up the fight. You know, don't let anybody mess with you. All right, moving on. What goes out there? All right. We got the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. You feel very trapped. You know, thinking about uh, all this. 
uh, so much anxiety. Some of you might be losing your sleep over this. Some of you don't know what, what needs to be done. What should I do to get out of this? You feel, you feel helpless. But it's all up here. So much thinking is going on, overthinking. Okay, you're not really stuck. You know what you need to do. Okay, nothing is going to put you down. Only if you let them put you down, then yeah. Otherwise, you really don't have to worry too much. Because I see you pretty much depressed. You know, just, just thinking way, 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 way too much. And that is not needed. Okay, it's just going to affect you. Mentally, emotionally, which is, which is toxic actually. All right, moving on. So you, you, you're being asked to not overthink a situation. Okay, with these two cards. Just let it happen. Okay, just let it happen. All you got to do is stand up for your, uh, for yourself in your defense. That's all what is required out of you. Vagos out there, what is your next card, please? Ooh, you got a two of pentacles. Uh, I was I was thinking this the next card was the card, but no, not uh, this this is what wants to speak up. It's it's almost like you're walking a tightrope. And that's not your next card as well. It just wants to speak. So it, it's almost like you're walking a tightrope. You're trying to balance things out. You want to be uh, the goody goody shoe, uh, you know, uh, the good one. Okay, this goes back to where uh, I was talking about speaking up, defending yourself. You, you don't want to be rash. You don't want to be seen as a person who fights. Mm. You're tiptoeing trying to maintain that balance the decorum you know the civil uh, civility is that a word you're trying to be civil to everyone sometimes you need to you need to open your mouth and give them a piece of your mind okay that is why the queen of swords where you're right you've got to show them you're right hmm? Okay. Yeah. So with that card, you're trying to maintain the balance, which which is not really helpful sometimes. All right, moving on. What goes on there? What is your next card, please? Your next card is this one, which is a three of pentacles, along with the lovers. Some of you are trying to make something. This could be a work situation as well. Uh, some of you are trying to make something work. Okay. Um, because lovers could be anything. Oh, sorry. Lovers could be anything. It could be a contract. It could be, uh, you know, a business situation. It could be people. Okay, it doesn't have to be your lover. It doesn't have to be uh, somebody whom you're intimate with. No, it could be another person. So something is being worked on. A judgment is being made. Okay, because I'm looking at the judgment and the three of pentacles along with the lovers. So someone is making a judgment about this Connection. That's the word. This connection. Someone is making... And I feel like there is other people who is involved in the story with this three of pentacles. So someone is making a judgment in regards to whatever is going on. And I also want to say someone is trying to uh delicately delicately walk around 
the intricacies. Okay, that's that's what they want to say of a partnership. Because if you look at this card up close, this person is working on something which looks like feathers, and that is delicate. Okay, he has to. Uh, it's it's almost like uh, you know trying to walk on the carvings. You know, you cannot, it cannot be very rash about it. If you are artistic, you are very much precise in the way you make the carvings. Yeah, because this person seems to be making a sculpture. Okay, working on stone. Because he's hammering into something. And he has to be very precise. And it seems like somebody is walking around a partnership delicately. Okay? They are making a verdict to regards to the partnership. Okay, moving on. Somebody will be also showing this is how things are going to be. Okay? Like this this is the partnership. This is how things are going to be. This is how things will work. Seven of Pentacles. Someone is really putting in the work and seeing, okay? Because Three of Pentacles is really putting in the work and seeing and waiting for the outcome. Okay? Because Seven of Pentacles is somebody who has watered the seeds. You know, planted it and you're waiting for the plants to grow and waiting for the fruits to come out only then you know you you're reaping the rewards of your work so you're waiting waiting to see the outcome of what you're putting the work in moving on what goes out there what is your next card please this one Woo! the wheel like I said, the wheel is going to be in your favor because we started off with a judgment along with the six of wands and I spoke the same thing. You know, you're going to be winning this. And with that wheel, the wheel is turning in your favor. Okay? But still, you are very much cautious. You know, I feel like this cat who's tiptoeing around a situation, you know, very much, you, do, you don't want this, this person to feel uh, bad about your win. You don't want the other person to feel, uh, you know, and you don't want to, uh, want to rub it in their faces. And that kind of tiptoeing, you don't want them to notice. You know, you, you're in that stealth mode about your win. Why? Okay. Because, uh, again, you're not going to be stuck here. You know, when I spoke about the Eight of Swords, there was a Nine of Swords as well. You know, like, you know constant, constant uh, torture. Now, within yourself, what is going to happen? How are things going to end up? You know, constantly thinking about the same thing over and over and over again. You're going to move out of the phase because the judgment, when the judgment happens, it's, it's like the final verdict. You don't have to think anymore. Because the wheel has already, that phase is over. Okay? Like, finally. Okay. Uh, it's just split into two, two of cups, and there's something else as well. King of Pentacles. Some of you might be dealing with the King of Pentacles. Uh, there might be something, um, uh, some sort of a commitment which is going to come through. It could be um, a commitment where things will be much more stable and secure. Like financially, some of you might be getting a promotion of some sort, or you might be getting involved with a person. Who, uh, 
this this commitment is going to be uh, much more stable yeah yeah it has potential moving on whoever's out there I just just going to say because I can feel my energy uh, it's almost like uh, you know something is going to come about which which makes you uh, uh, there is a bounce in your steps like you know you're going to be uh, even even if you don't show it because with that two of Pentacles you're very stealth mode you know uh, tiptoeing but inside you're just bubbling okay which is a good thing yes Queen of Wands you feel very empowered with what has happened, with how things have turned around. You know, there is, uh, you know, this, you know, you understand your worth. You finally understand your worth. How much ever you try to hide it, it's going to come out. Just saying. Yes. What goes on there? What is your next card, please? Ooh, did I speak about being stealth? Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person is literally, you know, uh, putting a cloak and just getting away. That is a kind of energy which I was picking up with a cat. Yeah, I can see it. I can wish you, uh, have that visual in my head. So, yes. I also want to say, because I'm looking at the Seven of Swords. Seven of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, Triple Seven. There is abundance which is coming your way, but uh, you're being asked to be very careful about this because people out there might want to take away your blessings or whatever is coming your way, they might want the same thing. Okay, so be very cautious about, I want to say these fuckers, but let me just keep it simple. Um, that's why I'm asking you, don't be nice. Really, don't be nice. Get what you deserve. Okay, what is yours? You need to snatch it. You need to make it happen. Don't, don't, you know, hide somewhere and just hope for it to just fall into your lap. No. Y you need to voice out. Okay? It's, it's time. With this triple seven, it's almost like destiny is, you know, knocking on your door. It's time. It's time for the verdict uh, to be made. And do not hide. Okay, because there are people who might just, you know, uh, if you blink, it's gone. I'm not asking you not to blink. Okay, because it will look scary. Um, so, yeah. Don't let people get away with what is yours. Okay? Otherwise, you will keep, you know, because you deserve it. You put in the work. It is for you. Get it. You, you don't have to be, um, you know, ashamed of getting what is yours. All right, moving on. What goes out there? What is your next card, please? You will succeed anyway. Okay? And they're not going to like it. There are so many others out there who's not going to like your success. Because the success is definite. Unless and until you give it away. Okay? Moving on. What goes out there? I also want to say you need to understand you deserve it. Okay? With that queen of wands energy, you really need to know your worth and make people uh you know accept it accept your worth yes six of pentacles it is going to be offered 
it is going to six of wands six of pentacles it is definitely going to go in your favor all right what goes out there what is your next card please Ooh la la you've got a tower something is going to shake up your world Ooh, yes with this full card there is some kind of a new beginning which is going to happen which is going to be a brilliant breakthrough okay it is going to release you out of all that stress and worries you know the conflictual thoughts in your head that what will happen blah 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 uh, not anymore when the verdict is made it is going to shake up everything around you okay i also want to say um, yes, uh, with this wheel card and the tower, it's it's like it's about time. The wheel turns, and it could be a little shocking as well. But uh, I also see people will hide their faces. Yeah, people will hide their faces when this happens. I'm not talking to you. Uh, it is the others who's going to hide away from this tower. Then they might want to, you know, worry themselves somewhere. All right, moving on. Yes, a definite new beginning. And the magician, you manifested this. This beginning is something which you really worked on. You made it happen. Okay, now all you got to do is believe in yourself. Uh, but you work. What goes on there? One last card, please. You got a two of cups, and you got a hangman, and the uh, I haven't pulled out the last card. You got a hangman and the four of cups, which I wanted to show because it breaks in my hand. Uh, I need to look at it. Uh, so with that hangman, it is things um, you know uh, in limbo. You know, a situation is lim in limbo. Nothing much is happening. Things seems to be not moving. Okay. And you're not liking it. Okay. There is a stagnancy. Nothing much is happening. And you're just not okay with it. You're just not happy with, you know, where things are going. Or where things are not going. Because stagnancy. Um, what was the card? Yes, two of cups. This is what you want. Okay, this is this is the kind of commitment which you want uh, to happen. The contract or whatever it is, whatever that two of cups is for you. Things are not going there. That is, you know, frustrating. Also, how much ever work. I think uh, with this three of pentacles, if I remember correctly, three of pentacles came along with the two of cups earlier. Am I right? Or was it the lovers? I think it was the two of cups. Anyways. Um. So it seems like you're putting in so much work into this, but then nothing much is happening. Everything seems to be pretty much still. Yeah, that is frustrating. Okay. What is your last card what goes out there? What is your last card please? This one, the full card. Sorry, why did I say full card? It's a world card, but full. Uh, it's almost like a brilliant new beginning. It's it's like uh, you know you feel like a new person. Yeah, you, you're almost like. Good Lord, look at how things have turned out. You know, even you are shook. Yes, shook with this uh with this tower here you know it's almost like you're out of words you know what are you what are you talking doesn't make sense because you're so excited with what is happening Oof. with this temperance everything is going to fall into its place there is definite newness in your situation okay there is going to be changes with this three of pentacles and the 21. The world card is 21, which is again a three. 
things are going to come about. Things are going to happen. And I feel like you've been blessed with some kind of a transition, some kind of a new, you know, a renewal. Without judgment as a first card and the world card as your last card, with the wheel, something is really ending and some kind of a new beginning is coming. Because wheel and the world. How many major arcanas do you want? The tower up here. This is massive. Okay, this is really massive. It's new, you know. Uh, did I speak about the phoenix when I looked at this card, the uh, judgment and the world cards? You're going to come out as a new person. And it's almost like a rebirth. With whatever change is going to happen. And you work towards it. That's a different story. But you, you know, when it happens, it, it's like, good Lord. Is it, is it really happening? I'm excited for you. Uh, so that's it for now. This is this is Marishi in my channel Shaloka, and I would like to know if it's already happening or it happens in the very near, near future because it seems like it's in process. All right. If it makes sense, let me know. That's it for now. This is Marishi in my channel Shaloka. Until next time, bye bye.